Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm-hmm. Eh? Yes. Look at you. So your boy Diddy has been taken off of Suicide Watch and he's met with his family recently and is said to be focused and strong as he prepares for this upcoming trial. Now Diddy definitely needs to prepare. He needs to be strong, especially with the defense that his attorneys are going with. They are going with the infamous race card. Now according to his attorney, they are trying to take down a successful black man. His attorney Mark Anifolo said they tried to scrutinize his businesses, they scrutinized his taxes, and he was doing everything on the up and up. They couldn't find anything, so they decided to go into his bedroom. However, where there is smoke, there is fire. You remember when I told you about the famed attorney, Tony Busby, filing a class action lawsuit with 50 of his clients against Diddy. Well, baby, somebody must have called that Diddy hotline because in just two days, that number grew from 50 to over 100. Tony Busby is having a press conference tomorrow where he is going to talk about the victims, the different venues that these incidents took place at, the state laws for those venues, and he is looking to take down any individual or entity that benefited or participated in these acts with Mr. Combs. Hey, what's Lena say? She say, a did it, did it, done, done. A did it, did it, done, done. But as the saying goes, it's not what you know, it's what you can prove. We, the court of public opinion, do not matter. It's going to count when you get in that courtroom and they bring you piles of evidence, videos, text messages, voice messages, pictures. This is when Diddy is going to truly see if his folks are really loyal towards him. We are going to get into all of that and so much more, but before we do, please be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any news regarding this story and so much more. Now let's get back into it. Now y'all know those Diddy parties were like the Cinderella story because after the clock strikes 12, everything got ugly. And if you weren't about that life, kids have like an hour left. So get extra comfortable kids, because after that, y'all gotta go. It's a wrap for y'all, because this thing turns into something that when y'all get older, y'all don't wanna come to, okay? So, you know, let's just start to get our groove on a little bit. In an hour, we put the kids away, it's all good. Hey, right, DJ, let's hit it, let's do it. No, no, I don't know if guys have noticed this, like, a lot of ladies, drink water at parties they right. just you know so you have if you don't have what they need they're gonna leave right gotta right. keep them there right you need, you need locks on the doors yeah. <laughs> okay this Let, is sounding kind of dangerous now it's a little kinky but yeah you know, yeah rock with me, but just right check it out you need um a lot of heat a lot heat. of heat yeah heat you mean that physically the place has to be hot you don't have no air conditioning no air conditioning. No. Why is that? Heat affects the alcohol, and it also affects, like, um, you know, everybody gets a little bit more comfortable and loose. Builds up a nice, nice little sweat. Now, they're saying that Diddy's after parties were a special invite only, and a lot of top-name celebrities were always in attendance. However, I can guarantee you right now, with none of them knowing what evidence, what pictures, what videos the feds may have, they're all shaking like Ebony in the bathroom right now. <laughs> Now, according to People Magazine, Sean Diddy Combs is no longer on suicide watch and has been visited by his family while awaiting trial in Brooklyn's Metropolitan Detention Center. Now, a law enforcement source says the 54-year-old music mogul who has been charged with sex trafficking, racketeering, and transportation to engage in prostitution following the September 16th arrest is no longer on suicide watch. A source also says Combs has been visited with family while at the detention facility where he is currently in custody before his court appearance in early October. He is focused and very strong, a lawyer for Combs tells People. He is concentrating on his defense and preparing for his trial. And speaking of defense and preparing for trial, the attorney representing Sean D. Combs has claimed his case is an example of the federal government's general toxicity towards a successful black man. The scandal hit music mogul 54 was sensationally arrested and charged last week with crimes including racketeering and sex trafficking, which he has denied. His attorney Mark Agnifilo, a former Manhattan assistant district attorney, has come out and blamed the feds for taking Diddy down because he is black. Speaking on TMZ's The Downfall of Diddy, the indictment, Agnifilo said the federal government was historically no friend of the successful black man. And honestly, at times, there has been some truth to that statement, and I probably would have believed it had Cassie's story not come out 
and the video of Diddy abusing her months later, matching exactly what she said in her story. But hey, let's continue. Agnifilo added, what's the last vestige? You're going to go into his bedroom because maybe we don't like the way he is having sex. He continues that his client has made some of the most important businesses owned by a black man and that society has now reduced Diddy to a monster. Combs was arrested by Homeland Security officials last week at the Park Hyatt Hotel in Midtown Manhattan. Since then, he has been incarcerated while he awaits trial inside Brooklyn's Metropolitan Detention Center. The charge, which details allegations dating back to 2008, accuses him of abusing, threatening, and coercing women for years to fulfill his sexual desires, protect his reputation, and conceal his conduct. Combs has been accused of arranging freak-offs described as elaborate and produced sex performances arranged and directed by Combs while he masturbated and often recorded them. His indictment stated that some freak-offs would last for days, requiring Combs and victims to receive IV fluids to recover from the exertion and drug use. Federal agents claim that they confiscated 1,000 bottles of baby oil and lubricant following a raid on his homes in Miami and Los Angeles earlier this year. Earlier this week, Agnifilo said that the star liked to buy in bulk like other Americans commonly do. He told the New York Post, I don't think it was a thousand. I think it was a lot. I mean, there's a Costco's right down the street. I think Americans buy in bulk as we know. However, Costco's was like, mm -mm, get somebody else to do it. Oh. Costco's came back and was like, we don't even sell baby oil. Agnifilo added, these are consensual adults doing what consensual adults do. You know, we can't get so puritanical in this country to think Think that somehow sex is a bad thing because if it was there would be no more people. Agnifilo said his client is feeling positive about his chances in winning adding he's just laser focused he's engaged he's helpful he's confident we're going through our defense as we do every day and his spirits are relatively good. I don't know where this burst of confidence is coming from however but if your lead attorney is fumbling the ball on your baby oil accusations what the hell is he gonna do when the big dogs come in with video proof? Text messages Messages, witnesses. <laughs> Speaking of Diddy being done done, I already told you that attorney Tony Busby had his foot on Diddy's neck. He released this yesterday. The Busby Law Firm and the Ava Law Group will hold a press conference on Tuesday at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time at the Busby Law Firm Houston office. At the press conference, information will be made available for the first time to the public regarding claims made by victims against Sean Diddy Combs and other alleged perpetrators where the R word sexual assault and sexual exploitation are alleged. At the conference, lead counsel Tony Busby will release pertinent details regarding cases that will be filed on behalf of what is now well over 100 alleged victims. Now you recall before I told you it was over 50. Two days later, now it's over 100. Details provided at the conference will include information regarding other potential defendants, information about the claimants themselves, where the alleged activity occurred, and what allegedly occurred. Mr. Busby also intends to share specific compelling stories of victims and take questions. Also at the conference, Mr. Busby will discuss the various state laws that apply, the venue where the cases will be filed and expected next steps. Further at the conference, Andrew Van Arsdale, co-counsel and attorney with the ABLE Law Group, will publish the sexual assault hotline number and explain the process when witnesses or victims call the number. According to Busby, this is an important matter that we intend to aggressively pursue. We will leave no stone unturned to find all potential liable parties to include any individuals or entities who participated in or benefited from this egregious behavior. As we do this important work, we ask that the public understand it is very difficult and takes an incredible amount of courage for victims to come forward. I ask that we treat these brave individuals with the dignity and compassion that they deserve as they go through this trying time. Further, I'm also asking that if you have been victimized or are a witness to the alleged behavior, please come forward. Your identity will remain confidential at this time. Like I said, it seems like Busby has his foot all over Diddy's neck and it does not seem like these accusers will stop mounting up. It seems like it's just going to keep going and going. Diddy has civil problems. Diddy has federal Federal problems like he said more money more problems and he's definitely seeing them what I need to do is hear from you what do you think about everything going on in the world of Diddy what do you think about these hundred plus accusers that are now in the class action lawsuit leave a comment and you know how we do we'll talk about it down below talk to you guys later bye
As always, thanks for watching. But before you go, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any of my new episodes.